in this video we're going to show you how to make this darling tulip centerpiece i think you'll have a lot of fun with it it's just easy they're just pieces we we seam together to make the leaves and i think you'll love it to make your dimensional pieces put a xerox of your pattern on top of two pieces of fabric that are right sides together thin polyester bonded batting sew on the solid outside line cut on the outside dashed line Take your paper out and turn it right side out. And we do it for this part of the flower as well and press it and just do them all mass produced and they turn out great. Okay, now we're gonna paper piece and we've placed our fabric number one right side away so that all of area one is covered. Now this is where we get the dimension, which is so cool. We've taken a piece of fabric, the dimensions are in the pattern, and we've folded it diagonal, and then again, and then what we're gonna do is hold it up to the light to put the point right on that dashed line. And of course, all of your fabric is on the unprinted side. And then just hold it up to the light and make sure it's right on that point. Then you're going to turn it over and machine baste where the tulip meets the seam. And you're, that's gonna transfer the location of those um, petals to the fabric side. Then we've got our pre-made pieces. Then we're gonna put the open edges a quarter of an inch past that basting. Now I always put the same one down first so that when they're all put together, you'll get a whole different design going on if they're the same. Now I'll pin that to secure it. Then I'm going to paper piece or foundation piece two and three, clip the extra out of the seam, which will be quite a bit with this, right? And then foundation piece four and five, clip the extra out of the seam and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, those sides are done. I can, again, baste where this part of the flower comes into the seam. That will locate it to this side, and then place the raw edge, quarter of an inch past that line, pin it, and then with my background fabric, I'm gonna paper piece or foundation piece this whole piece so that even these side leaves are faced. Okay, and then we'll show you the next part. Now we finished paper piecing and I held it up to the window and I marked these two lines for the stem. Then I've taken a piece of my green, it's not on the bias, it's on the straight, and cut it, the dimensions are in the pattern, fold it wrong sides together, and now I'm, I'm going to put it along the right side, the two raw edges along the right line, and I can pin it so it'll stay. And then I'm going to sew. It's actually smaller than a quarter of an inch. It actually comes out to be this second line right here that is the stitching line. So you can kind of experiment with your sewing machine what will put it on that line. And sew it straight down. Then the folded part will go over the raw edges like that. And then I'll just blind stitch, I'll press it blind stitch the little folded edge. This folds down, okay, and then I'll show you the rest. Okay, we've put our completed pieced top on top of green. So the whole thing has green facing and batting. So on the outside solid line, cut on the outside dash line, we left this open and we took the paper out. And then we're gonna turn it right side out through that opening and press it. And then what we'll do is mark the leaves between. So you have a nice marking so you get it exact. And then sew it together and look how cool this is coming. Okay, we're gonna show you with it all done because I think you really wanna see it. Now it's finished. We've seamed all of our little leaves together and it just makes such a great design. You can download this pattern for $2 on our website.